Hey guys, so I wanted to show you the, the little item that I picked up recently. Um, what started me down this path was I started watching this channel called Radioactive Drew. I'll put a link to his channel up in the corner. And what kind of interested me was he goes different places and he shows like radi radiation levels. He finds different things like that. But one of the things he did is he started going to antique stores. And inside these antique stores, he found items that were radioactive that you would never dream. They were just like everyday looking items, unless you knew what you're looking for. And so I kind of got curious. So I went ahead and I went on Amazon. I picked up one of the cheapest Geiger counters I could find. This one's good by GQ Electronics. Uh, it's their uh, GMC320S model. At the time when I purchased this back, uh, I believe it was in December. I want to say it was like 69 70 bucks somewhere in there. Uh, now I believe it's on sale for less than that. I want to say it's like 60 bucks now. Um, but I didn't want something really expensive. I think the one he uses is like a $3,000 unit. I don't want anything like that. I'm, I'm not needing something that's, you know, for life or death. This is just for, for giggles and fun. So I picked this up so I could put it in my cell phone pocket, my pant leg, and go inside antique stores and, you know, just see what's around. And so, first off, let me show you the Geiger counter. Can I go through some of the settings? And then let me talk about what's here behind it. So first thing off, when you power it up, you want to hold this until that name comes up. Once it comes up, you can let go. If you do it sooner, it just turns off. You're greeted immediately by the screen here. You have your date, you have your power level, and of course you have your radiation that's going on right now. Um, you can toggle between the types of radiation that you're looking at. Like right now it's set on Miller Remkins, which I probably totally butchered that name. But if you poke this button here a couple times, you can go to Microsieverts, yeah, Microsieverts, Miller Remkins, or Counts Per Minute. And what's cool about this is it comes with a little card that will give you a general idea of what each one means. You got your Counts Per Minute, you got your Microsieverts, and you got your Miller Remkins. And kind of gives you an idea of what's around you. Like right now, according to this card, I should be a little concerned. But I know what I'm dealing with at the moment, so I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> um, with this one here, you can also hit this little button over here, and it'll change between large format, click it twice, goes to text mode, press it twice more, it'll go to graphic mode, twice more, back to large font. Over here is also your your menu button. You poke it once, it brings you right into your menu where you can scroll down to whatever settings you want. The only one I've really messed with was the initial setup where I set the time and the date. When you're done, you just hit the back arrow, go back out of it. Uh, it comes with a cord for charging, a USB cord. Uh, this is a mini USB and uh, I've only charged this thing one time. I think it's at 80% right now, and I have used this for probably a total of maybe four days straight. And so the battery life on this thing is, is great. The other thing that comes with it, of course, is this little card. Now, getting into what I like to do with this, I like to put it in my pocket, and I just kind of listen to that click. You hear that little clicking going, and as you're walking through a store, you'll hear it you know, pick up whenever you're near something of interest. The very first thing I came across, I believe it was down in Paso Robles, was this little salt shaker. And let's go to there, let's go to the microsieverts. 5.6, 5.5, somewhere in there. That, from what I understand, is kind of like a diddle x-ray. If you're around it for an hour, of course, which I don't. <laughs> and uh, the next one I came across was down in uh, Pismo Beach. Came across this one. Now, of course, these aren't really branded. They don't show what the brand is. So I'm guessing there must be like California pottery. Otherwise, they usually say like Fiesta Ware. What they did is they put uranium in the glaze. And I guess it was to get the, the rich color to it, I guess, is the reason why. But... I came across this one. It was kind of interesting because, yeah, 
17, 18, long in there. So that was a very interesting one for, what was it, six bucks? Yeah, six bucks. I couldn't pass it up, so I went ahead and picked that up. And then uh, the other day we went over to Fresno, and I came across this little set of teacups, coffee cups, whatever you want to call them. And they made the little plate look like it was nothing. <laughs> Keep in mind, people used to drink out of these things. I definitely wouldn't want to drink anything out of them, that's for sure, because that's a pretty spicy cup. But uh, it is in the glaze. It's it's something that, you know, even handling it, it's it's not on my fingers. And of course, I go wash my hands after I handle this kind of stuff anyway. But it was kind of interesting because you go into these antique shops and I'm sure the shop owners have no idea. The people who are selling the items in their little cubicle areas, I'm sure they have no clue, all of many of them have no clue what they they have because you see them display the uranium glass in cases with a black light on it. They know what that is and they keep it behind glass typically. Well, these things, they're just sitting out on shelves like nothing. <laughs> but one thing I will tell you is I'm not sure what type of radiation it is. It's probably alpha. I'm not sure for sure. But let's say, let's take this really good cup that was doing, what, 34 earlier? I'm just going to wrap it in paper. And this is how I keep them stored, just keep them wrapped up in paper. And you can see it cuts it down like in half or, or more than half. So the radiation they give off isn't that much. And of course, even just being a little bit away from it, like maybe about a foot, just maybe about a foot, foot and a half away, the level drops significantly. So it's not something that's dangerous unless you're going to be drinking out of them or, or hold them close to you for a long time. But uh, I just thought it was an interesting little thing. I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, that's about it. So if you have any uh, comments, questions, concerns, please, uh, you know, mention it down below. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I sure appreciate it. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. Uh, this isn't my normal content. This is just something I wanted to throw up and, you know, see what you guys thought of it. And uh, if you'd like to see more when it comes to the Geiger counter and, you know, maybe a video in a store or something, let me know. Otherwise, go watch vid the video from uh, Radioactive Drew. He does uh, quite a few of them, and it's really interesting to watch how he, how he goes through those stores. Definitely more brave than I am as far as with a camera. <laughs> The guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.